Hey guys, how are you doing today? This is Patrick and I'm apologizing because we haven't seen each other in a long time now. But today I got some really exciting news I can't wait to share with you. It's all right in here. So hang on, let's roll the intro and then let's take a look at what the mailman dropped off here today. So a couple of weeks ago I was checking my Instagram and I saw that my buddy Tom, who is an amazing rock drummer, was interviewed for the German issue of Drumheads magazine. And if I can get it out, so much stuff right here. He was interviewed for that magazine and let me look it up because they used one of my photos for his interview right on top of here. Bam, it's printed on real paper, available in stores in Germany, Austria and Switzerland. So that is one thing I'm really proud of. And because it's the very first time a real magazine picked up one of my shots, I want to tell you something about the story behind the photo and how it ended up being printed in the magazine. Every July we typically have this very huge rock festival here in Austria called Nova Rock. But like any other big event, it was unfortunately cancelled due to COVID this year. However, the promoters teamed up with Red Bull, they set up a stage in the middle of nowhere and scheduled a streaming event with only a handful of Austria's hottest bands to take part in it. There was a video crew recording two performances of each band, which would later be cut into one and streamed through Facebook and the websites of Nova Rock and Red Bull one week later. Arriving at the location felt super awkward because there was no audience in front of the stage and essentially all the people there were either musicians or crew members. All in all, the band of my friend Tom had about one hour of stage time, including sound check, and I was busy taking pictures and shooting some B-roll that you are actually watching right now. As I just told you, the actual streaming event was scheduled a week after the shoot, but I treated this like every other event photography job where time is crucial and started editing all my footage as soon as I came home that evening, sent them all the files the next day, and that was basically it. So when the editors of Drumheads magazine asked Tom about images of himself for their article, he forwarded them the link and that's how things went down the road. Finally, I want to address one more thing in connection with the whole story, and that is money. Lots of photographers seem to be overly obsessed trying to figure out payment models, how much they can charge per shoot, and they would never ever do anything for free. You know what? I didn't charge Tom or his bandmates a single cent for all the work I did that day, but it still ended up being one of the most rewarding shoots I've ever done so far. So my, maybe a little bit of unpopular advice to you at this point, do shoots for free. If you know talented, creative people, Take every opportunity to support them with your skills and it's going to pay you off big time sooner or later. So here is the proof in my case. You know, I could have said, what, no payment? Sorry guys, I'm going to watch Netflix tonight, but I didn't. I'd rather grab my camera, go out with friends, have a good time, take some shots and eventually have one shot ending up in a magazine. Having said that, I would like to hear your opinions on free shoots. Drop me a comment below and if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button. See you next time. Bye guys.